Welcome back, everybody. This is Mr. Brain, your friendly neighborhood gaming dad, and I'm here with kind of a, a new idea for how we could rearrange how Archipelago Raid is done in order to make it a bit more engaging for everyone for the first, especially the first couple of days. Because, let's be honest, the first couple of days of Archipelago Raid are designed to be boring. With your only goal getting down to the level 6 towers and trying to get there without fighting any potential allies is that that's the incentive because if you are up against any legions that early on in the match chances are you're going to be paired with that legion when it's time for phase 2 and you've already weakened yourself and let's be honest if you've got two weak alliances against two weak legions against two legions that have not fought each other, you might as well just throw in the towel. So yeah, you got some action in the first couple of days of Archipelago raid, but at what cost? You're not you have no chance of winning at that point. So how can we rearrange all of this to incentivize fighting early on while not taking away from fighting later on in the match as well? And I came up with an interesting idea, and I'm going to try and draw it out for all of you, and maybe we can make something like this a reality. So, first things first, I'm going to need to be able to draw, so let's get a nice big picture of what we got here. Just head on over into the snipping tool. Okay, this is our map. We know that each legion starts in one of the cardinal points on the map, north, south, east, and west. I am suggesting that we take the crimson and azure sides completely out. What this will do is this will allow us to put all four legions in the four corners. And if you can already see how it kind of gives us like a sideways eye formation. Now you could take out the sides here and do the same thing towards the center, but I think this personally looks a little bit better right now. So we got like an H symbol. The goal for the first couple of days will be to and let's draw this in light blue for these two. Oh, let's get a darker color, shall we? Just to get these two legions to fight all the way up to about right here. Whether it be all the way to the treasure city or not. Same here. These two legions will fight each other all the way up until the level 6 tower that you would put here. The level 7 treasure city. So on and so forth. Whatever, whatever buildings you wanted to put here. On the day, on the day after the level seven treasure city is captured, you will still have your faction allocation. However, it'll be extremely simple to do. Whoever has the level seven treasure city stays back here. That's their side. So say this side wins, they will be allocated to this side. On the opposite side of the map, let's assume this alliance wins on this side. So they will be paired on this side. However, you obviously aren't going to pair these two with each other. They've already just killed each other. So what can you do? You can... Switch them. that recoup phase you could have you could have a two-day fight a one-day recoup and then another two-day fight this will give 24 hours for the alliance the legions that lost to reset up back in their new home areas give them a free teleport whatever you have to do to get them back on this line they don't need this space anymore because this is their home area for their faction then they'll be able to move forward from the level tre 7 treasure cities 
to fight for the sanctum as usual. What this does is this incentivizes a stronger legion to completely wipe out a weaker one. That way, the weaker legion gets paired with their enemy, and they don't have to fight. They would have to fight them again, but they're already weak. If you've zeroed as many people as you can, you're giving your enemy a weaker ally. Same goes for the opposite side. This, to me, incentivizes fighting in the first couple of days. You can give each of you can give the entire island one day to recoup. Just keep these four locked for an extra day to gather resources, train troops, whatever is necessary. And then once these open again, you have two still very strong alliances paired with two weaker alliances fighting for the center. Now, are there potential downsides to this? Obviously. There is the chance that neither alliance fights. If neither alliance fights and neither alliance takes, then it would have to be completely randomized. In which case, if one side fights and the other one doesn't, then whoever gets paired with the weaker ally on this side is the one that loses. So, there's less incentive to not do anything because there's still a 50-50 chance you get paired with the loser. And you're just not going to do well. And then there's also the off chance that only one alliance fights, in which case this alliance will be full strength and have all of the buffs available from these two buildings. This alliance won't. Or this legion won't. So while they're still at full strength... This legion has been building and preparing and has all of the buffs assigned to these two buildings when this legion didn't. And you could make it a gathering buff, you could make it a training buff for back here to give incentive for the weaker, for the other legion to actually move forward. Because I know if you have a solid training, research, building, whatever buff here they're going to want to push to take it. If they don't, they're going to fall behind developmentally, even if only a little bit, to make themselves stronger. To make the other, to make the enemy stronger. But, in my opinion, this gives us the same amount of action that we currently get from the last two days of Archipelago Raid, while also giving us additional action in the first couple of days of Archipelago Raid. Is this going to be rough on free-to-play players? Sure, but from what I've heard of free-to-play players already, their biggest issue is the matchmaking, not the amount of fighting. Most people want to fight. They want to play. They want to be a part of the game. And they can't really do that when there's no incentive to fight on the first couple of days. But I hope this makes sense. Um, if you have any questions about this idea or any suggestions you would like to add to it, please let me know. I'm curious about your all's thoughts. I want to push this up in the Discord channel to the developers and see if they like this idea to change things up a little bit. But please, let me know. I'm happy to take suggestions. And with that, this is Mr. Brain, your friendly neighborhood gaming dad, signing off.